Well, dip me in a fryer and call me crazy fair food. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Summer! This is our last week of the Good Mythical Summer episode, so we got an episode right now, Wednesday and Friday. Then we're gonna take a short break and we'll be back with season 16 on August 26th. And as you've hopefully heard, our new novel, The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, comes out on October 29th. Mm -hmm. It's a thriller, mm -hmm. it's funny, Ooh. and since it's so special to us, we've developed a very special live event around its release. Yes, we have crafted an intimate experience, unlike any of our previous tours, so we can all celebrate this milestone together. We're not only gonna be reading from the book, but we'll also be bringing the backstories from our childhood to life by premiering a very special documentary. Get all the info at bleakcreek.com. Yeah, we're only doing this for six nights in six cities, and then we're not gonna do it anymore. Uh, Boston, New York, Chicago, Dallas, Fort Worth, Winston-Salem, and Los Angeles, and all tickets include the book, so they're a great deal, it's just a few more bucks than the cover price of the actual book, right. plus VIPs get a meet and greet and a signed book. Mythical Society members get first dibs on tickets today, and then they go on sale for everybody on Wednesday. Seating is limited, so head over to bleakcreek.com to get them. Thank you for celebrating the novel along with us. Yes. Uh, it's gonna be a good time, and you know what else is a good time? the state fair. Yes. Uh, but there's more to the state fair than just showing off your large cabbages and yeah. making out on the Gravitron, which I do not recommend. Yes, my favorite thing about the state fair is the incredibly inventive food choices. All across America, fair vendors are coming up with some straight up weird stuff to empty my wallet and fill my belly. It's time for Where, Where in America, America do these state, state fair foods, foods come from? from? Okay, so we're gonna be served a crazy food that originated at a state fair somewhere in America and try to guess what state it was birthed in. We are going to indicate our guess by throwing a dart at, <laughs> I don't, was that English? Uh, yeah, that I think is. Think he's gonna act. <laughs> uh, That's at, a map of America. It's, yeah, it's a Look at that, map. that's never happened before, Look at guys. That. Uh, Chase is gonna measure the distance between the correct answer and the dart. Just like in golf, the lower the score, the better. And he's gonna be using inches because it's America. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, he is. Okay, so Link, you have a unique ability to lose this game, so you're gonna get a very special break in case of emergency dart called the Squart. It's a squirt gun chill, uh, filled with chilled. Chilled, is it <laughs> Cherry called? lemonade, I don't know if it's chilled or not, but it's filled with cherry lemonade. And of course, the winner gets some deep fried Pepto Bismol. That's what the winner gets. <laughs> In Good Mythical More. Let's play. This is a burger with some sort of uns what? unspecified. What is that? Is that just, oh, it's cold. This is frozen ice cream on a freaking burger. It's fried ice cream. I'm, I meant to say fried ice cream. Like but from Chi Chi's. I said frozen. All right, so you just. All ice cream is preferably frozen. Just squish it. Dish it, man. I'm not gonna be dinking with you today because you're, you're a little under the weather, so I'm sorry. You're That's an understatement. Keep your dinks to yourself. I don't even know if I can taste with this cold. Oh. What? I like it. It forced me to put my, my teeth in ice cream. It's not really that big of a deal. It hurts bad, man. You don't have the teeth sensitivities that I do. It's all in the teeth, huh? There's nothing like the taste of onions and mm. vanilla ice cream together. I mean, that's not a good idea, man. You, you actually like it? I like the sensation of the first, first of all, you put cheese on a burger, it's a dairy product. Why can't you put ice cream on a burger? It's freezing. The real question is where is this from? And I'm gonna go first, since I won last time. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna go with the fact that Vermont is a dairy area, otherwise known as a dairy -a. And it's also where Ben and Jerry are from. Now keep in mind, if I miss, you get automatically, well usually it's 50 centimeters, so whatever the inch equivalent of 50 centimeters is, is what 50 you 50 inches. Okay, so I'm going for Vermont, but I'm gonna go a little bit left just so I don't miss. <laughs> yeah, Vermont! Dang, son. Now last time in Good Mythical More, after we played the dark game, you inadvertently taught me how to throw darts. Yeah, I regret it by every saying, day. Remember, just point it where you want to go after the dart, because I was like, ooh. So I feel like I'm a good darter now. Okay, we'll find it out. I, I think it's Minnesota. Okay. A lot of dairy up there. Yeah, it's a dairy as well. Oh, oh so you see, I was close. Yeah, you were. All okay, right. what do we got here? Okay, boys, that was fried ice cream on a cheeseburger, as uh, Link so eloquently stated. 
But it was cornflake and cinnamon coated ice cream to be exact. Really? This dish won fourth place in the People's Choice Burger Awards at the State Fair in Florida. What? Florida? They'll do anything down there. <laughs> All right. Rhett, you had 19, and Link, you had 21 and a half. Oh, oh. I actually thought I was closer. Well, thank you again, friend. All right, we've got some sort of fried nugget um, with some sort of dip on it. What is that? That's a piece of chicken thigh. No, I believe that's a reptile. What? No, it's another type of bird. It's bird meat. That's not a bird. I'm severely... That bird, that bird had an infection if that's a bird. I can't taste anything with this head cold, man. Well, I, I mean, it may be a T bird. Tell me how it tastes. Not like a bird. <laughs> it doesn't taste like a bird. It tastes like it might be a testicle or it might be a reptile. I get my testicles and my reptiles mixed up all the time. <laughs> you know what? We've we've eaten... Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've eaten Rocky Mountain spotted oysters. Dude, that's a... This is a testy, man. I don't think spotted is part of it. These are Rocky Mountain oysters. But Colorado is not a choice. But do you think that the the inclinations of Colorado runs makes it down to New Mexico and Arizona? I think so. I mean, they share a border. You ever stood in all four states? You could do that. So do you agree that these are don't Rocky Mountain oysters? Don't point that at my face, man. What do you want me to do, point my finger? That's rude. I, I think that they're testes, yeah. New Mexico or Arizona, that's all I got. I'm just gonna aim in between them and see what happens. Or hit Wyoming. Dang it. See, Wyoming was my answer. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew that. Because <laughs> I think the Rocky Mountains are up there. They are, for sure. Right. But I mean, why would you want to have something that pokes fun of your mountains? I This could be something that like has nothing to do with like, all the way from the Rocky Mountains over here in North Kakalaka. Our people wouldn't do this. You know, it's like thing. exotic. They eat Rocky Mountain oysters all the time in the Rocky Mountains. I These think are not it, bad. I think your luck has sent you directly on thick. the right answer. So I'm going for Wyoming as well. A little too much. Ah. Uh, okay, well. I feel like my aim is better than it was, but just not as good as your accidental aim. Right, that's true, that's a good way to put it. What do we got here? Okay, these are called lamb fries, which are seasoned breaded deep fried lamb testicles. Yeah. Lamb I've nuts. never said testicles like that. Mm -hmm. Served with a dill sauce, lamb fries are served at the Holy Land food stand where its workers wear shirts that say, go nuts, try the lamb nuts. They're served at the state fair in Minnesota. Oh, Link, you got closer. Yes. You're closer to Minnesota. Lamb oh, nuts. Holy Land, what? All right, Link had seven and Rhett had 11. Oh, Link, you pulled ahead. These nuts. It's like a Lunchable. Got a lot of... Oh, there's something in this. Look, there's something on the bottom. Is it cornbread? It's. I think it's more of. I think this is chicken soup. Oh my god! Inside of cornbread. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is chicken. Basically, this is freaking brilliant. Like chicken and dumplings with a cornbread. Wow, that is amazing. I feel like I could be anywhere in America. I feel like this needs to be in a in a cooler region. You know, I don't think we're down there in the southwest. I think this is Michigan. Hmm. Michigan. Yeah. Well, you know I'm, I'm, I'm you just a little the difference. Weak. You I'm split little... the difference between that and North Carolina. I want to say Nebraska because of the corn, but I don't know if ne cornbread is such a southern thing, but corn is such a Nebraskan thing. Hmm. I'm gonna put that in the shower thoughts thread on Reddit. <laughs> it's not gonna get much traction. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Nebraska, why not? Are there. Okay. Okay. You just enjoyed some Twankies, which are hollowed out cornbread cake stuffed with Tex Mex chick chicken white bean chili served with cornbread fries. White bean chili. The Twankie was a finalist in the 2018 savory category at the Texas State Fair. All right. I didn't see the beans and I didn't taste the Tex Mex. I don't see any beans now. I feel like a loser. All right. Link had 18 and Rhett had 11. You lucky dog. It's a tight race. We're so wrong and we're so right. Link, this is a freaking donut. Glazed donut. Sloppy Joe. And there's some cheese there's on cheese there. cheese on it. You know, Sloppy Joe doesn't have to have cheese, but if your mama really loves you, <laughs> you're gonna get that cheese. <laughs> I was gonna think that it was too sweet, but it's not. It's incredible. 
Wow, it really blends beautifully. What is the smartest state? Oh gosh. What state has the wherewithal to come up with something so ingenious, so satisfying? I feel like this is a state where there's factories and making stuff. They're still manufacturing things. You think in Michigan? I feel like this is a state that I can give a high five because it's shaped like a hand. So I can say congratulations, Michigan, for having the best idea America's ever had. Oh, oh you hit the bumper car. Man, this is a fun loving, hold nothing back dish. And as we all know, California knows how to party. <laughs> <laughs> you, al you almost didn't get that out. It almost, it almost just stopped in the middle. No, it's like, <laughs> what's going on with my, my head these days? It is like I get down like California knows how to party. Oh God! Wow, if you're right, you are gonna pull way ahead. This is for Tupac. Huh? Right there, Catalina. You hit one of the Channel Islands. <laughs> okay, this isn't just a donut sloppy joe, it's a Krispy Kreme sloppy joe. The director of corporate communications at Krispy Kreme said the sandwich is in no way, quote, created, endorsed, or marketed by the company, but it was created at the Chicken Charlie booth at the San Diego County Fair ah! in California. In the city. Of San Diego. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, Link, you just <laughs> pulled way yeah, ahead. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Link, you had three, and Rhett, you had 30. Oh, oh God. Quite a delta, and I'm not talking about the airlines. Uh. Okay, the profile of this is strangely familiar to me. I feel like you've enjoyed one of these before, but it wasn't covered in chocolate. This is a scorpion. All right, I'm just gonna bite a claw off and chew. Oh, whoa, the pop. As we've discovered before though, chocolate does a world to help anything that you need to get in your gullet. Um, <laughs> I think so, okay. If you focus on the chocolate part. I did. I'm in the lead. Um, I've taken quite a large lead and I still have my, my squirt blaster here. You know what? I'm feeling the California love. I'm gonna relinquish the blaster. I don't and know about you know what? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to use it. I'm saying that I'm not gonna use it. This is obviously a Southwest situation. Right, so I mean, at this point, it's like, it's gotta be Arizona or New Mexico. I'm gonna split the difference between zone of Arizona. I'm gonna split the difference with Mexico. New. Alrighty. Okay, Rhett. Okay, I'll make a deal with you. If I hit in the very center of the bullseye of the state that it is with my squirt gun, <laughs> or, or or my or my my dart, will you give me the win? Yes. Dart though, not squirt gun. Dart. If okay. you dart it right in the middle of the correct state, okay, you win. All right, I'm gonna go for Arizona. Ah, uh, Nevada. A little north. Okay, what do we okay, got? Okay, so you are correct. That was a chocolate-covered scorpion on a stick. The Chef Du Jour booth that first sold this creation recommends you eat the scorpion by starting with the head first. Yeah. And they're sold at the State Fair in Arizona. Oh, man. Arizona knows how to party Dang. as well. All right, Link. Well, you know what? We don't even really need to measure, but just so you can see how badly you beat me this time, Chase, what are the final measurements? Link had four and a half and Rhett had six and a half. See, I, all we had to do this whole time is keep it in my home vicinity. Uh, right. This country. Congratulations for winning the American version of our international game, Link. <laughs> you, and, get, you get to enjoy some deep fried Pepto Bismol and good mythical more, you lucky dog. The one time I win. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Kaylin. I'm here to see Rhett and Link at the North Carolina State Fair. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Woo! Let's do it. Click the top link to watch us try the funnel cake bacon cheeseburger from the Texas State Fair in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. We're commemorating our creative promise to each other with the blood oath tea and long sleeve at mythical.com.